How you doing guys? Cody here and I'm here with my good mate Dino How you and uh, basically uh, today I'm talking to him about getting lean and some of the ways that he gets lean for competition. Um, at the moment he's uh, training up for his first pro fight so he's going to go pro with his boxing which I'm really excited about and he's definitely excited about. Something that he's been wanting to do for a long time now. Um, so Dino if you wouldn't mind just telling people you know, who you are and what you're about. Yeah well my name's Dean Mikkel, I um, uh, work here at Best Bridge and Boxing and Fitness. Uh, a lot of my training is boxing style training. I'm more of a cardio sort of trainer. Um, yeah, I'm getting ready for my first pro flight and I'm here basically today to give Cody some tips on leading down. So, uh, Dino, I was just wondering because you're like, you know, since last time I saw you, you're looking pretty lean. And, um, you know, like I know a lot of people who, who kind of do similar types of things that you do, but I never actually see them get as lean as you are. So, yeah. in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, well, you know, he must have some kind of like special boxing secret that he's kind yeah. of keeping from everyone else, just for himself. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Do, you, do you have a particular secret to, to get to lean? To be honest, I don't know if it's much of a, a, a secret, but um, I mean, I just train hard five to six days a week. And um, meals, training and eating go hand in hand in leaning down. I right. think diet's very important as well. Um, I eat maybe five to six smaller meals a day. Mm -hmm. So what I'd normally eat in breakfast, lunch and dinner, I cut that down into five smaller meals yeah. and uh, eat more frequently. And what's, what that's doing is just burning up, using your energy a lot better and it's burning, burning through a lot faster. It's like I got it explained to me once, like putting a big piece of wood onto a fire, okay, it's going to take a long time for that wood to burn through. Same as your body, you put a big meal into your body, it's going to take a long time for that meal to burn through. Whereas if you get a fire and you feed the fire with twigs and sticks and let that burn through for five, ten minutes and then add a little bit more, add a little bit more, you, know, you get the idea, yeah, your yeah. body works the same sort mm. of way, so if you kept feeding your body with small amounts of food every so often and burning it through, burning it through, it's going to keep you out of life. Yeah, that's actually a really good analogy, I've never yeah, had it explained yeah. to me like that before, but yeah, it, is, yeah, yeah. it really does make sense. It made a lot of sense to me when yeah. I was told to me like that. A little light bulb just went ding yeah. on the top of my head just there. That's it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, thanks and for sharing that's that. That's the basic secret in leaning down. Okay, yeah. all right. So there's no like secret pill, like I can't go down to the health food store and be like, I want to be on what Dino's on. Uh, I can't go on a lemon, lemon detox you know, or anything like they that. Do, they got all these types of things that you can get out there that are, I, I suppose are going to assist you in that. Massages, um, fat burning, fat metabolizers, all that sort of stuff. Yep. Um, you know, to get the diet right and the training, I don't think that's necessary. So it's pretty basic, pretty I guess. Pretty basic, so yeah. You take care of your, your nutrition that's it. in a reasonable yeah. way and you're, you're exercising yeah. regularly, it's just yeah. going to naturally happen. Yeah, what goes in must get burnt out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I, I, want, I want you to check out this image. Yep. And this is the image that hopefully I will get to within 90 days or less. Mm -hmm. And I want you to tell me what I would need to do in order to get as lean as this guy in the image. The, you know you could definitely get close, yep. but um, I mean that guy's pretty big right there. Yep. If you were to, to try and do that, I mean you'd have to you'd have to be training, you know, uh, five to six times a week. Right. Maybe even two times a day. Yep. Yeah. You have to get your eating down to the T. Yeah, so yeah. eating the right amount of protein, the right amount of carbs, yeah. all that sort of stuff. And you just have to be really strict and, and disciplined on yourself. So, you know, to get this, this effect, you might want to bulk up first for the first maybe uh, six weeks of bulking up. And then yep. the last few weeks, let's lean down and, and get nice and ripped up. Get that high protein diet, step up your cardio right. a little bit more. How? Okay, so with, with the cardio, um, like how long would I be doing the cardio for? Is it like high intensity stuff? High or? intensity sort of stuff. Um, cardio workout should should last for at least 30 minutes, you know, 20 to 30 minutes. Yep. Um, Is that what you do? Yeah, I'd mind go for about um, an hour and a half. What? If, if, yeah, 
Well, boxing is all cardio, really. So, right. you know, we train for an hour and a half every day. Yep. And it's high intensity sort of stuff. So it's a little bit different. But um, yeah, for you, um, 20 minutes to half an hour, maybe three times a week. Right. Cardio workouts to get some nose noticeable results. Yeah, is that is that you running the whole time as well or is no, that no, no, it's it's a mixture, you can mix it up, you know. I, I go to the gym, I skip for ten minutes, and then I do three rounds in the ring of shadow boxing. Yeah. And I do three rounds on a heavy bag, three rounds on a floor to ceiling ball, three rounds with some hand weights in my hands. I do a mixture of push ups and chin ups and, and sit ups. Okay. So that all takes around an hour and a half. Right. Um, with you, you know Someone like you just with your weights and all that, I mean running would probably be just enough. You okay, know, for right. you to go for mark out maybe three kilometers. Yeah. I'd say. Um, maybe do one weight training day, one cardio day the next day. One weight training day, one cardio day the next day. Okay. To keep you nice and, and lean and ripped up. So um, when I'm when I'm doing like a uh, like a uh, leaning down type of workout what are some of the best exercises I could use within that particular workout? Some of the best exercises, skipping is a great workout. Right. But don't just coast along with your skipping. Um, chuck in some sprint skips, meaning running on the spot, you know. Mm -hmm. A good one I do is I skip for 10 minutes and 15 seconds I go really slow and then 15 seconds I'll sprint it out. Continue okay. that on and off for for how long? For ten minutes, wow. ten minute period. Just that yeah. one shot. One minutes. shot, yeah, one shot. Warm wow. in first, maybe yep. do a, a two minute skip warm up, and then yep. and then fifteen on, fifteen off. Okay. I do a variation on the bike as well on a sprint bike. I turn it up and fifteen on, fifteen off. Yep. Um, boxing workouts. I mean sprints. Sprinting would be awesome for you. Yeah, is that you know? the same thing? Fifteen on, fifteen off. No, with the sprinting. Yeah. No, you can do. You can do it. Uh, right. We we used to do a thing from light pole to light pole, where we'd run around a block, and one light would run to one light pole and would jog, and yeah. then from the next light pole would sprint. So it'd be jog, sprint, jog, sprint, and we'd try and build that up to maybe twelve minutes or something. Okay. And you get yourself in pretty good nick, and you. You're burning through. A, you're burning up a lot of energy, so it's going to keep you lean. Yep. You know, it's better to do 10 minutes of sprinting and leaning down than it is to go for half an hour jog. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. I heard something about that as well. Yeah. Definitely. The higher you can get your heart rate up, the more energy you're going to burn. The more energy you burn, the more weight's going to come off. Okay. So, like a simple science, really. Yep. And yeah. um, if you've got, like if you've only I've uh, got like a small space to work out in. Yeah. Are there any exercises you could do there, like yeah. besides the skipping? Or yeah, would definitely. You, yep. you could do a burpee. You know what burpees yeah. are. Yeah, you could do burpees. I mean, star jumps, um, push-ups, squats, anything where you're swapping the blood. Like I said before, like squats to push-ups, you can do maybe 10 squats and then drop to the floor, do 10 push-ups and then okay. 10 crunches. Right. Have a rest for 30 seconds and repeat that five times through. Okay, right. It's going to be good. That's going to get your heart rate up. Yep. Nice and high. So, yeah. if you're, so you're saying if I can combine exercises together yep. where I have one upper body exercise and then a lower body exercise yep. or even like a full body exercise. Yep. Thing, like combine those together then that would really get my heart rate going because the blood's flowing definitely all the way through your body definitely okay yeah. right. or compound yeah. exercises using kettlebells yep. as well mm. any yeah, you know? yeah. Yep. yeah can't use the kettlebells though okay no yeah, kettlebells yeah <laughs> okay no worries. Yeah. No but worry. yeah i understand what you're saying yeah. Makes sense. yeah 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 you can do many compound exercises with just weights yeah exactly yeah. well i can't use the weights you either. can do a squat press it's a great <laughs> workout yeah, yeah that's true for getting the heart rate up yeah. and leaning down yeah, yeah. Like okay it. cool all right dino well um just uh, I would like to say thanks for you know taking your time out to sit down and have a chat with me about like your secrets thanks, and all of your handy tips to get no lean. Yep. And I uh, wish you all the best for your fight coming up in yep. a couple of weeks now. Um, and um, if anyone wanted to contact you about you know getting more tips, I guess yep. uh, what's the best way to do that? Uh, they can go to my website at www.bestbrisbaneboxingandfitness.com. Um, or they can call me on 0439 721286. Yep. Uh, I'd be more than happy to oblige. Alright, awesome. Thanks, Dino. Thank you, Katie. Cheers. Cheers. High five. <laughs>